Hello boys and girls, Miss Tinker here for another fun and exciting science read aloud for you. We've talked about the life cycle of the cicada, the life cycle of the butterfly, the life cycle of the frog, the life cycle of the ladybug, but I have another exciting science life cycle book for you today. Take a look at my headband. It says, happy birthday. What do you think a read aloud could be about today? Hmm, happy birthday. We are gonna read a story about the life cycle of humans. Yes, just like all the other life cycles we read about, humans have a life cycle too. So I just got a new book that I want to share with you. It is called The Human Life Cycle by Jennifer Pryor. So let's get started and learn about our life cycle. If you look at the front cover, there's a baby, a younger boy, and two older people. So let's get started and find out about our life cycle. And look on this page. It has a heading. We learned about headings, the life cycle of change. Most of us know about the life cycle of butterflies and frogs. They begin as eggs and then change and grow throughout their lives. But have you ever thought about the life cycle of a human? Hmm, the life cycle of a human. Newborn babies are just beginning their life cycle. And here we can see the life cycle of the frog. We learned about the egg the tadpole, the froglet, the adult frog. So now let's learn about the human life cycle. People change and grow from the time they are born until the time they die. They keep learning too. People develop wonderful abilities as they grow. Abilities means they learn new things and can do many different things. People grow from infancy to childhood to adolescence to adulthood to old age. Think about all the things that you can do today. Could you do those things just a few years back? Does an infant know how to do the same thing as an older adult? No. Infancy. We all begin as babies. This is called infancy. Infancy is a time of fast growth and change in a short period of time. One to four months. At first, Babies or infants are helpless. They are very small and they need 15 to 18 hours of sleep each day. Over time, they learn to hold their heads up and roll over. Young babies don't have good eyesight, but their sense of smell, their hearing and taste are very good. What do babies do when they grab toys. They put them in their mouth. This is the best way they have to explore their world. As their eyesight develops, young babies begin to identify different faces. They can tell the difference between colors and patterns. They begin to imitate people's expressions. They recognize the voices of their caregivers and they communicate mostly through crying. Infants often learn about the, about the world around them by putting things in their mouth. Young babies are best able to see things at 6 to 12 inches away. four to eight months. Between the ages of four and eight months, 
Some babies get their first teeth. Many learn to sit up and crawl. They laugh when playing with others and make eye contact with them. Some use hand motions and sounds to communicate. At this age, most babies are able very attached to their mothers or primary caregivers. They are usually afraid of strangers. You can see here all their different expressions, their faces that they are making. Babies need parents to care for them, otherwise they could not survive in the world. Eight to 12 months. By the time babies are eight to 12 months old, they learn to stand. Some can even walk. But most babies at this age still enjoy crawling. They eat most foods and some can drink from a cup. At this age, some babies can name many people, animals, toys, and body parts too. They can even make animal sounds. They begin to take turns when talking to people. Most babies like to play simple games like peekaboo. Between 9 and 18 months of age, babies learn to walk. One to three years. At this age, babies are called toddlers. Most are able to move around a lot, walking and climbing. Many are also very social. This means that they like to be around people. They wave goodbye and speak more and more words. Some toddlers can follow simple directions. They recognize the people they know in photos. They begin to enjoy being read to. As children near the age of two, they can do quite a lot. Many know 200 to 300 words and begin to speak in short sentences. They also begin to develop opinions about things. You may often hear a toddler say, no, mine. Toddlers enjoy being able to get around by themselves and explore the world. Children this age enjoy some, someone reading to them. Of course, most people continue to enjoy stories at all ages. Childhood. Childhood is a special is a separate separated into two stages the preschool years and the school aged years. Preschool years between the ages of two and five years old, children are in the preschool stage. Many begin to draw and count. They learn to cut with scissors to identify colors and shapes and to identify letters of the alphabet. They learn to dress themselves, they feed themselves too, and use using utensils such as forks, knives, and spoons. The preschool years are very creative. Children speak quite well at this age. They like to play with other children for short periods of time. Most of the time, they enjoy playing alone, but near other children. As they near the age of five, they become better able to share with their friends. They enjoy thinking of themselves as grown-ups, and they like to tell others about the things they are able to do. School-aged years. 
School-age children can do a lot of things. They also learn new things every day. Just think of some of the things you recently learned to do. Children at this age usually learn to read. They are also very social and active. They like to run, play, solve puzzles, make crafts, and build things. Some children learn to play sports and instruments. Girls usually like to play with girls. Boys usually like to play with other boys. They often form organized groups or clubs with friends. Does that sound like you? In later childhood, friends become very important. Most children want to fit in. They usually like to help their teachers and parents with real life tasks. They also enjoy helping younger children. At this age, they begin to feel like adults. They believe they can take care of themselves. Have you ever felt this way? Sometimes you will say, I know how to zip my coat. I can tie my shoes. You don't need to help. Girls usually grow faster than boys during this time. But don't worry, the boys catch up in time. Adolescence. Adolescence is also known as the teenage years. This can be a very tough and exciting time for kids. So many changes are happening in their bodies. Kids at this age can feel unsure of themselves. Sometimes they don't feel normal. They are often moody. Sometimes they are happy one minute and the next time they are upset. Do you know any teenagers who act that way? Most teenagers are able to express themselves as adults, but they seek out role models to imitate. It is important that they find role models who are worth looking up to. Adults usually wonder about themselves. They try to figure out who they are and how they fit into the world. During adolescence, Teenagers try new activities and make new friends. They spend time trying to figure out who they are and what is important to them. Adulthood happens when a person's body is fully grown and his or her mind is mature enough take on adult responsibilities and work. When you reach adulthood, there are even more responsibilities than those that, than those that began to develop in adolescence. During their adulthood, people often get married and begin to have children. They find careers and work hard to take care of their families. Adults usually place great importance on their family life and their job. In fact, experts say that adults feel a need to care for their families just as much as their families need their care. That works out great for everyone, doesn't it? One of the best things about being an adult is loving and caring for your family. Old age. Eventually, if people are lucky, they grow to old age. Do you have grandparents or an older family friend? You know that changes happen to the body as people age. 
Their hair turns gray or white. Their skin wrinkles, and they begin to slow down a bit. Often, older people spend time looking back on their lives. They think about their families and the things they did to make a difference. Many people say that as they get older, they become more grateful for their families. They realize that their families and their relationships with, pe with people are the most important things in their lives. Old age can be a time of great fun and freedom if a person does what it takes to stay fit and healthy. Time marches on. The life cycle from birth to old age is an amazing process. It is filled with many changes at each stage along the way. As a child, you have much to look forward to. As an adult, you can look back on many wonderful experiences. But as long as a person is living, he or she is constantly growing and changing. No matter how old you are, there is more beautiful life ahead. The life cycle is all about growing and learning. As long as a person is living, he or she never stops changing. Thank you so much for joining me in this story about the human life cycle. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Love you.